The Charged Particle Lunar Environment Experiment placed on the lunar surface by the Apollo 14 mission as part of the Apollo Lunar Surface Experiments Package was designed to measure the energy spectra of low-energy charged particles striking the lunar surface. It measured the fluxes of electrons and ions with energies from 40 electron volts to 20 keV. The primary purpose of the experiment was to examine plasma particles originating from the Sun and the low-energy particle flux in the Earth's magnetic tail. Design. The CPLEE had a mass of 2.7 kg a stowed volume of 2,540 cubic cm, and used 3.0 W power normally and 6.0 W at night when the survival heater was on. The main part of the instrumentation consisted of two electrostatic analyzers. One of these, analyzer A, pointed toward local lunar vertical, and the other, analyzer B, to a point 60 deg from vertical toward lunar west. Both detectors had fields of view of 4 by 20 degrees. For analyzer A, the long axis of the field of view was oriented NS, and for analyzer B, EW. As a first approximation, both detectors could be considered to point in the ecliptic plane. Each analyzer consisted of a set of direction-defining slits, deflection plates, five small aperture C-shaped channel electron multipliers, one large aperture helical channel electron multiplier and six accumulators. For a given voltage applied to the deflection plates, the five small aperture multipliers were arranged to count particles of one polarity with differing energies, while the large aperture multiplier simultaneously made a wide band measurement of particles of the opposite polarity. During each 19.2s interval in the automatic mode of experiment operation, deflection voltages of zero twice, for background and calibration and plus and minus 35, 350, and 3500 were applied to the deflection plates for 2.4s at each voltage. Each analyzer would make measurements for 1.2s and transmit while the other analyzer was operating. The little used manual mode permitted the continuous application of a single deflection voltage, thus increasing temporal resolution for particles in a limited portion of the spectrum. Useful data obtained during each 19.2s interval automatic mode where, for each analyzer, 1.2s accumulated counts of electrons and ions in 18 energy windows between 40 electron volts and 20 keV. The windows utilizing all six detectors at 35 volts are centered roughly at 40, 50, 65, 70, 95, and 200 electron volts. The windows at 350 volts are 10x and at 3,500 volts are 100x these values. A dust cover with a 63 Ni radioactive source on the underside over each aperture for calibration protected the instrument. The instrument was designed by Professor Brian J. O'Brien, who was a professor in the Department of Space Science at Rice University. After he left Rice University in 1968, his postdoctoral student David L. Reasoner PhD, 1968, took over the job of PI of the instrument and its data analysis. 
Two Rice University students earned fees analyzing CPLEE data, Frederick J. Rich PhD, 1973, and Patricia H. Reef PhD, 1975. Topic: <laughs> Timelines. The ALSEP Central Station was located at 3.6440 degrees south 17.4775 degrees west, minus 3.6440, minus 17.4775 Apollo 14 ALSEP the charged particle lunar environment experiment was deployed approximately 3 meters northeast of the central station. Leveling to 1.7 degrees, tipped to the east, was accomplished with a bubble level and east-west alignment to within 1 degree with a sun compass. The instrument was deployed at approximately 1800 UT on 5 February 1971 and commanded on at 1900 UT for five minutes of functional tests. A checkout procedure was conducted on 6 February from 4 o'clock to 6.10 UT. Following LM ascent on 6 February at 18.49 UT the dust cover was commanded to be removed at 19.30 UT. The experiment worked normally from deployment until April 8, 1971, when the power supply for the analyzer pointing away from lunar vertical analyzer B failed. The other analyzer continued to function normally until June 6, 1971, when a partial failure of the power supply occurred. Operation of this analyzer was intermittent for the rest of 1971. During most of 1972, operation was continuous during lunar night and intermittent during lunar day because high temperatures caused a low voltage condition in the power supply. From December 1972 to February 1973 operation was continuous, after which time the voltage problems occurred again. The Apollo 14 Central Station signal was lost on 1 March 1975 and reacquired on 5 March. Loss and reacquisition of signal happened sporadically until termination of the ALSEP experiment. Loss reacquisition occurred in 1976 on the 18th of January to the 19th of February 17 March the 20th of May the 8th of June to the 10th of June the 9th of October to the 12th of November and in 1977 on the 30th of July to the 4th of August the CPLEE experiment was in standby mode when the ALSEP stations were turned off on 30 September 1977. See also Selenography List of artificial objects on the Moon